today we're gonna work on our knee, ankle and hip mobility. And to do that, we need to start out in a deep squat position. Now, we're gonna do some extra work to strengthen our core too, which means we're not gonna use our arms for balance. Instead, we're gonna keep them behind our head for the whole duration. Now, for the first exercise, we're gonna be bringing our knee to the middle, alternating between left and right. Once we've done that, we move on to doing full rotations with both legs to the side. Try and use your abs and your hip flexors by flexing them to pull your body forward and upward again, because if you don't, you're gonna have a hard time getting out of this position. Once we're done, we're gonna move on to complete the rotation by putting both our legs to the side and bringing our head all the way to the ground to add a little bit of glute and lower back flexibility too. So bring both legs to the side, try and bring your head all the way to the ground, keep your hands behind your head because we wanna have this increased core inclusion for those exercises and then we move on by falling over and switching back to another starting position in the deep squat bringing both our legs down to the middle, but we're crossing them. So one is on the ground and one is on our other leg. Switch it up a couple of times. And now we're gonna move on to hip thrusts, strengthening those glutes and hamstrings simultaneously while stretching our hip flexors. Do a couple of those and then get out of the deep squat position for now. We're gonna change starting positions in one where we have a wider stance. So open the legs a little bit and put your body down to the middle. We're gonna switch our knees from one side to the other just a couple of times, loosening them up, and then we're gonna increase our range of motion of this exercise by sitting down to one side and having one leg fully extended. So one leg extended, sitting to the left, one extended, sitting to the right. Switch it up a couple of times, try and sit down all the way so we get as much hamstring stretch as we can and then we're gonna move on to split walk so we need to open our stance even farther and then we're gonna move forward and backward from a seated position to a front plank position with our legs open try and include your ankles by moving forward all the way onto your tiptoes and then sitting back down again careful not to sit down all the way we want to keep a little bit of resistance going there and we're going to change positions one more time into a seated one to first make a couple of more hip thrusts. We've already done that, we know how that works, but those are a great exercise for in between just so we can take off a little bit of stress from our knees from the last couple of exercises and work on our hip flexors and glute strength. Now we move on changing positions one more time into a deep squat and from here we're gonna hold it statically a little bit. Here you can see me a little bit better. Hold the deep squat statically, open your arms sideways and push your knees backwards using your upper arms. You can pull in your head a little bit closer so you have that nice arch in your back and in your lower back. Once we've done that, we are ready to move on to the final exercise. And this one takes a little bit of strength because we're gonna do pikes to deep squats, which means we're gonna change directly from the deep squat position into a pike position and back, which will loosen up our hamstrings even more since we're contracting our quads and pulling our bodies up. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I hope I'll see you soon. Captain Cairo, peace out.